What's up team? Welcome back to the channel. I got a great ab and back routine here for you today. As always, I start off every workout with stretching and warm-up routine. I'll go ahead and leave a link so you can check it out. All right, so I started abs with hanging leg raises. A couple of keys to watch out for is having a nice firm grip about shoulder width apart. What you try to do is you try to bring your hips all the way up so that way you can get a nice contraction on your lower abs. This is perfect for working your lower abdominal muscles. All right, so continuing with lower abs, mountain climbers are next. What you wanna do is you wanna start from a push-up position and you're driving your knees all the way up to your chest. And you're making sure that you squeeze, squeeze your lower abdominals so you can get the maximum amount of effort out of there. I was super sendy, so I was doing it without rest. All right, now you'll find one of these pieces of ab equipment in your gym. If not, you can also do crunches. So crunches are one of the things that will help you to build your abdominal muscles. As you can see, you're bringing your torso and also your legs right to the middle and you're squeezing right in the middle to make sure you get the maximum amount of effort. Now, if you don't have this piece of equipment or you're at home, you can do it on the floor. Okay, so I'm doing some sit-ups and again, another piece of equipment you'll find in your gym. I'm doing it from all different angles. So I'm hitting the obliques from the side and I'm also hitting the top abs from the front. This is a great variation, guys, where you can go side to side and you can go even from the front. Now I'm doing a little bit of pause sets. The negative will help you squeeze in the middle so that way you can burn out those abs. All right, so if you have this piece of equipment in your gym, it is an awesome piece of equipment to use. One of the things I like about it is that, number one, it is assisted, so it holds your legs in place. So that way, when you're doing negative reps, which I like to do, basically a negative rep is going against gravity, right? So you're holding your torso in the air for about one to two seconds before you're slowly, slowly releasing that contraction. So here's a couple of different exercises that you can do on this piece of equipment. You can do crunches, which targets your lower abs, and you can also do leg raises, which also targets your lower abs. team so my back workout is consisted of a lot of pulling exercises one of the things I love to do is dumbbell single arm rows okay so the setup for this exercise is basically grabbing a dumbbell I, I, I recommend using moderate weight to start if you're a beginner definitely try it with light weights until you get the form right what you're doing is you're trying to activate your lats Here's another rowing variation that you can do at home. So what you want is a bench that's adjustable. You set it up in an incline position and you're still doing your rows. Uh, what I do recommend is use light weights as there is an increased amount of uh, pressure on your shoulders. But you're doing the rows and you're doing that to activate your lats. All right, so our next routine is going to be dumbbell deadlifts. What you're doing is you're targeting your lower back. So seated rows are next.
mechanics, I recommend doing a wide grip as you give, get a wider back, great lat activation with this routine. Alright, so our next exercise includes the rear deltoids. And I use this piece of equipment as it's perfectly designed to target your rear deltoid. So after that I did lat pull downs, again continuing with a wide grip because wide grip gives you a wide back. So I finished up today's workout with back extensions and pull-ups. I love this piece of equipment. First of all, it's adjustable, so you can fit it to just about any body size. You can even use weights to get additional resistance. All right, guys, if you like what I do on the channel here, please subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, and share this video with anybody that you feel like would benefit. Again, my name is Damien Wright, and thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next one.